we talk about the past, definitely NATO played a key role and it was it was the fact of the factor of stabilization back that time. In a perspective of uh, the clash between the two superpowers, the United States of America and their ally allies, and the uh, Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, it served uh, it served the purpose of the time. The, I mean the the joint membership of Greece and Turkey um, in NATO. It prevented. Uh, Soviet uh, projection of power inside the Mediterranean. It prevented the Soviet fleet from coming down to the Mediterranean. So, in that case, it helped. It helped the West. It helped the uh, the NATO alliance. To me, as well to most Greeks, NATO is the basic uh, security pillar on which. Uh, uh, my country's security and defense policy is based upon. Uh, there have been some uh, setbacks and problems uh, in this uh, uh, yeah, journey through the, the decades, but generally, and for the EU, and uh, especially for Greece, uh, I think nobody doubts that it is and it will be the basic uh, security pillar of uh, our defense policy. Uh. I find NATO to be the most important and the most efficient military organization that there is today. Uh, by efficient, I don't mean that it's always efficient, but it's more efficient than other military organizations or other militaries from either from states or from other organizations. Well, I think that NATO plays a key role. I mean, it started as a defense organization. Now he's, he does many things in many domains. It's very important, like environment or cybersecurity, etc. I think that it, it didn't do what it had to do uh, to preventing a crisis and uh, to solving conflicts between the uh, between Greece and Turkey. I think it has made both countries feel more secure towards each other because they they both belong in NATO. On the other hand, yes, there have been problems between Greece and Turkey. Uh, the most important being the invasion of Cyprus by Turkey. Uh, NATO didn't help Greece. I don't know if it could help Greece at that point because both countries are members of NATO and I don't and there are no provisions of what happens when two allied countries uh, have a conflict. It plays a very in, a very important role in international politics. I think there is room for improvement. So I would like to get to know NATO better from the inside and also reflect on what could be improved in NATO in its operations, in its uh, post-conflict, peace building, things like that. But the fact is that it makes us feel more secure and I think um, we don't need to worry as much as we would if we were alone.